There are plenty of things that you should not do on an airplane in order to be a good passenger, like eat a tuna sandwich or take your shoes off. And then there are things that you definitely should not do on the airplane because they're going to make your own flight experience worse. Those are the things that we'll be covering in today's video. Here are eight things that you should never do on an airplane in order to have the best flight experience the next time you fly. The first thing that you should never do on an airplane is store your luggage in an overhead bin further back in the plane. The ideal situation is to board the plane and then have an overhead bin available directly above your seat. This is not always the case. Perhaps the flight attendants are using it for storage or other passengers have already taken it. If you do need to find a new spot for your luggage, then check the overhead bin space in front of your seat as opposed to further back in the plane. If you do end up storing your luggage in an overhead bin that is further back, you will need to wait for all of those people behind you to get off the plane before you're able to go back there to pick up your stuff and get off the plane yourself. This next airplane mistake could make the difference between staying healthy for your trip and catching a cold. Never close the air vent that is above your seat on the airplane. The flow of air from an open vent actually creates a wall of turbulent air in front of you, which is going to help protect you from airborne viruses. A quick Google search will dive into exactly how this works and the science behind it, but the summarized version is to leave your air vent on low or medium for the entire duration of your flight to minimize the risk of getting sick. On a similar note, you can mitigate your risk of germ exposure by never eating directly off the seatback tray table. The seatback tray table is considered to be one of the dirtiest surfaces on the plane. Touching the tray table surface, eating food that falls on it, or worse, sleeping on the tray table before sanitizing it is a big mistake that travelers make all the time. I have even seen parents changing their baby's diapers on these tray tables. On more than one occasion. According to many articles online, as well as my one flight attendant friend, something that you should never do on an airplane is drink anything that comes from the airplane's water tank. Usually cold water served on a plane comes from a bottle, but the taps are still used for hot water to make your coffee and teas. Apparently, the water tanks are not cleaned frequently and they can be conducive to microbial growth. It is also a mistake to drink alcohol while on your flight as it's quite dehydrating, same goes for caffeinated beverages, and carbonated drinks can cause air bubbles to expand in your stomach as the plane is in the air which could end up giving you a stomach ache. That's a lot of things to avoid. So while these are things that pro travelers are going to tell you to never do on an airplane, I have to confess that I do pretty much all of them. I will still drink hot coffee or tea, and if I feel like a glass of wine or a carbonated beverage, I'm not gonna stop myself from having it while on a flight. But you might want to do your own research as opposed to following my lead as there is science to back up all of these claims. Let us know down in the comments if you will still enjoy drinks on the airplane, like I do, by leaving yes drinks, or if you will be avoiding drinks on the plane by leaving no drinks in the comments instead. Another thing that you should never do on the airplane would be to wear your contacts for the entire flight. The air within the aircraft is very dry, which can dehydrate your eyes and make contact lenses very uncomfortable. If you do decide to leave your contacts in as you board the plane, then definitely consider bringing some eye drops with you, as well as some hand sanitizer in case you do decide to take them out mid-flight. Something that would benefit any traveler to never do on an airplane would be to get too cozy and remain seated for the entire duration of the flight. Staying seated for lengths of time can be especially detrimental if you're also tensed up as a nervous flyer or simply because you're cramped with too little space. This is a surefire way to start your trip feeling terrible. Make an effort to get up at least once per hour, assuming the seatbelt sign is turned off, where you can get up and stroll around the aircraft or even move to the back and do some stretching. In a case where you can't get up, such as if there is turbulence going on, or maybe you're at the window seat with a sleeping passenger beside you, consider reading up on some in-seat stretches that you can do instead. I found some cool guides online for in-seat stretches and I will link to them down in the description below. And when you follow this tip and you do decide to get up and move around the aircraft, something that you should absolutely never do would be to do this barefoot or in socks. Walking around barefoot on an airplane is going to expose you to everything that has been tracked onto the airplane floor by everyone's dirty shoes. Even taking your shoes off in your seat is something that you might want to reconsider. And then when it comes to going to the washroom without your shoes, yikes. 
Airplanes are a little bit unstable and those bathroom floors are not good. You get the idea. One more common mistake that travelers make on an airplane and something that you should never do is use the announcement for landing as your cue to get up and use the washroom. By the time the pilot is announcing that the plane will be landing soon, you usually have less than 20 minutes to use the washroom before the seatbelt sign is turned on. I like to set an alarm on my phone that's going to go off about 2.5 hours before the plane is set to land. This gives me enough time to get up and use the washroom before the pilot makes that announcement and the rush of people get up to go use it as well. Getting ahead of the line of passengers that are also hoping to use the washroom before landing can help you avoid a situation where you end up waiting a long time for an airport washroom, especially if you have to go through immigration or a security check when you land prior to making it to a bathroom in the airport. The washroom is also likely going to be in much better condition if you use it prior to that rush of passengers that will be using it back to back to back prior to landing. Hopefully these tips for what you should never do on an airplane are going to help keep you healthy and happy on your next flight. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe so we can see you back here for more travel tips and hacks next week. Have a safe flight. Bye.